Avaricas. 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 But before we do that, with me here in studio, our makeshift studio in the Mary County, of course, is none other than Shen Gray. How are you? Before we even get to, let me just get you a mic. But as we get you a mic, maybe you can give us one of your songs. Yeah. Magnificent. I'm actually jealous right oh, yeah. now. <laughs> so let me guess, the song is Jealous Lover? There is, but there's a story behind it. I guess, uh, and what's the story? So when I moved to Hollywood, California, I, I was very strong in my faith, and, 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 but when I went to Hollywood, I was around celebrities and around people of influence. And so the song's about a troubled soul because it was my testimony. So I compromised my purpose for a taste of the fruit. So Jealous Lover was never a woman, it was actually the world. So I found out that the world's jealous for you like God is. And so I wrote that song around uh, the world being jealous for me. So I was telling the, the world to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> they need to stay away. Yeah, just get away from me. I don't need you. First of all, welcome to the Thank show. You. Um, you play several instruments. I do. Guitar being one. What are the others? I play banjo. And then I play the mandolin, which is a little smaller guitar that you got to really pick fast. I play the African djembe drum. Uh, I learned that from my West African friends. I used to travel with Liberians. And so I learned how to play the djembe drum. I play little drums. I play keyboard to yeah. produce. So mainly for songwriting purposes, and I play harmonica. Okay. 
I'm really, really Actually, jealous right harmonica, now. I think. You do. I, I think I do. You come prepared. I think I do. I think I brought harmonica. Yeah, so it sounds like this. Yeah, it's a great, great tool. It's a <laughs> so, bluesy tool. It is. So what exactly are you doing in Kenya? Maybe if you can tell us. So, you. yeah, so um, because I've been gifted in creative arts, my goal is to uh, inspire the young children in Chuka and around the areas. Uh, Chuka is really the first place, but it's where I'm going to create the model. So I want to be able to do this all over Kenya is, is, is have a self-funded model where I use dairy farming as a way to fund my project. So, which, which is which project? Uh, creative art school. Okay. So I'll be bringing in people from Hollywood to inspire them in workshops through acting, through voice acting, radio personalities, directing, because I do everything. I do everything from acting, voice acting, radio personality. Uh, I learned something when I was on Radio Maestro, they say 102.7 Radio Maestro. Yeah. You know, so you learn, you learn voices. So with kids, you teach them how to read books. And while they're reading the books, you teach them how to get into a character. Yeah. So one thing about it I noticed with the kids here is, is the, the culture. There's a lot of tradition, but there's not a lot of artistry. And so where I'm from, people grow up in artistry. So it teaches you to be original. It teaches you to be yourself. Not to have to be the person next to you, but who are you? What were you created for? Mm -hmm. So has it kick-started the foundation? It has. I just, uh, I, on Monday, completes my dairy farm. So that was the first step of why I came this time. So I leave in April to go back to L.A. I'll be back here June, July, and August. And so then I'll be putting the cows on the farm. And then starting in February, I'll be having Chuka's Got Talent. So I'm going to be inviting all the kids age 5 to 12 to my theater I have. It seats about 300. How many people are you targeting? Well, uh, all the children. Right now, I, I want all the children, but the thing is... What if they're all talented? Well, it's okay, so I'm going to be having judges, and so the judges are responsible for picking out the kids who win so that they will get scholarships to the school. Mm -hmm. So my musicians, uh, I'm hoping to find a lot of the orphans in the community, will be my musicians, and then once a year I'll fly them to Hollywood, track their journey as a documentary, going to Hollywood, tracking at our studio in West Hollywood, and then giving them something to bring back to Chuka. And so... I'm really hoping that it really takes off and we'll be able to plan big production tours here in Kenya so people can see what these kids are all about. Yeah. All right. And let's talk about your own career. You're so many things, but above all, you're also a musician. Absolutely. Um, how has the industry been for you? So the industry has been great for me because of favor. Uh, mm -hmm. But a lot of people, they have to, and where I'm from, they grind is what they call it. So they do a lot of shows. But me personally, I do a lot of networking. So I just shake the right hands, I smile at the right people. And so, you know, I've been centered in the favor of what God's called me for. And so it's a lot easier than having to go and labor and do all this work that's unnecessary work. But work is good if it's perfecting your craft. And so I've always believed in just being excellent and then God will bring you the right people who are already established to put you in the platforms in the place that you're called to be in. You're supposed to release a video yes. early this year. How, when should we expect it? So we should be expecting, I get back in April. This is exciting because uh, I've been waiting four years. So my first project was with the drummer from a big rock group called Guns N' Roses. And, and so they're waiting on my story of Kenya to build around the release of everything. But they're giving me my own record label and everything that I'm hoping to bring some really awesome established artists in Kenya with me to Hollywood so that we can collaborate and do some some more of the Afrobeat vibe with my bluesy sound, kind of with the Swahili hook or whatnot. So I'm really excited. Uh -oh. So we should be expecting that by the time I return in June. So I should be expecting that too. Absolutely. Uh, can I be part of it? I love hey, singing. Hey, you want to sing? Yeah. I, 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 I'm sure. not sure if hey, I'm that talented, happen. but I really we love to be part happen. of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now it's got to stay off camera first until, yeah. we, until we get it to where we need it. Definitely. Okay. Thank you very much very for welcome. coming. Shen Gray, the president of Shen Gray Foundation. Mm -hmm. And it's about that time. Well, we get to learn that proper pronunciation as I had mentioned earlier. But before we get to Willis, let's just have a recap of that word on the street. Avaricas. 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 Avari kiasi. 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 Avari k
Avaricas. 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 Avaricas.